You're tuned in to WFGM Radio 835, the premier source of news, music, and programming on the inner planets. I'm Matt Dahan, your narrator. Today's story, the third episode of Pulp Musicals, is titled The Ghosts of Antikythera and takes place immediately following the events of the Brick Satellite. Ghosts, you ask? Is this episode going to be scary? Episode 2 ended with Samuel, Rose, Margaret, and John getting thrown decades into the future by a magical being known as the Traveler. Time had transformed Township No. 9, their home during the construction of the Brick Satellite, into a bustling Amazon port. They had no money, no friends, and no way home. It's ironic that they spent months building something to guide those who were lost, only to find themselves without direction. Why would the Traveler bring them here, to this time, when things were so utterly unfamiliar? Our heroes eventually come across a ship that's making the trek from Hanover, British Guyana to New York City. This vessel is named the Ellen Austin, an unremarkable schooner with room for a few extra sailors. It's helmed by a strong captain and a loyal bosun who aim the craft north towards America. But to do so, they must first pass through the most treacherous part of the Atlantic Ocean. Yes, they must travel the Sargasso Sea, an area so saturated with the supernatural that it will someday be known as the Bermuda Triangle. The Ghosts of Antikythera is inspired by one of the most famous tales born in the Sargasso. In the late 19th century, the Ellen Austin encountered a wandering, seemingly abandoned ship. A thorough search revealed a vessel in excellent condition, with a full complement of lifeboats and a hold filled with cargo, yet her crew was nowhere to be found. The hair-raising events that followed would give even the most weathered sailor pause. The bonds of trust and friendship that Samuel, Rose, Margaret, and John forged through ink and brick are about to be tested in ways that they never could have dreamt of. Who will join us as we search the Bermuda Triangle? What crew will aid our journey in this place where the water itself is haunted, where the air is thick with spirits? We'll meet them in our next broadcast, listeners, so don't change that dial. This has been Matt Dahan with the WFGM Radio 835 News Update, reminding you not to be scared of the dark... Huh. How did that happen?